Hello Scorpio, welcome to Echo Catcher Tarot. This is going to be a reading for, I'm, not, I'm just dating these for the day. So this is going to be for October 4th, 2020. So I'm doing, a, I got a beautiful display from one of my viewers. Thank you so much. Shout out to Bobby Oliver who made this. I love wood products. I love the shine on it. My cards, hopefully you guys like the display set up. It's really awesome. So thank you so much for that viewer. Also, there's no way this can connect with every single Scorpio out there. And feel free to vice versa if you feel like it's your partner or you, vice versa, that energy or masculine feminine can be vice versa as well. So here we go with the first cards. The first ones are Earth Wisdom cards. So this is 18 Communication. So, to me, I see growth and balance on there. So, somehow your communication is going to become more balanced, if that makes sense to you. Hopefully, it does, Scorpio. So, 18, if you add the numbers, would be 9, and that's good. I, I wonder if I should zoom in a little more. So, I'm just still trying to figure out the camera angle for this. So, communication, very... Um, you're growing and balancing more on your communication skills. So then you have Relief 22. 22 is a master number. So this tells me you're going to have a choice to make. You're going to have a path to choose. You're going to have more than two, it looks like. And no path is wrong. You're just going to choose a different path that best suits you, is what this says. I see... I just see you choosing a path. I do. I see you focusing on something to try and figure out your next future steps. And you're healing from something, relief. So communication and relief. Very good. The next one is Grace. This is beautiful, Scorpio. So this is a tree of life behind her, and this talks about being graceful to yourself. This talks about not putting negative thoughts about yourself in your head, not speaking negative thoughts about yourself, being respectful, respectful and have dignity when you interact with other people but it's mainly about how you talk to and view your own self so to me seeing communication relief and then grace you're changing up your the way you talk to yourself which is very good is what I see that's what that is saying to me that you are growing and balancing on how you communicate to yourself because you are lovable you deserve to be loved you don't have to accept less than Scorpio a lot of you already know this but some of you maybe got off your path or something somebody kind of maybe hardened you a little is what I'm feeling so now I'm going to shuffle the next deck and I already shuffled the cards before I turn the camera on I just do it one more time after I turn the camera on welcome to all my viewers too I'm getting viewers and subscribers every day and I just appreciate it so much thank you that I connect with people is awesome because in real life I really don't connect with too many people it seems like I have a few um, friends that I connect with but it's difficult because people just think I can read their minds which I cannot so anyway here we go I'm going to have one side you one side your partner if you don't have a partner pick a side or use all the cards for yourself okay so the first one we have for you is Seven of Swords, Scorpio. So this is sneakiness. This is somebody being sneaky and lying, vindictiveness around you. That is terrible. So then you have Queen of Cups. So this is somebody who loves you and has intuition. So this person, I don't know if somebody's communicating to you that somebody around you is sneaky to you and you're not listening to this person is almost what I feel like, Scorpio. Or you're being sneaky to that person. So death. So I feel like some part of you is ending and you're moving into a higher vibration. So usually when this happens, something happens to us to where we aren't accepting of something we were accepting in the past is what I'm feeling. So there is healing on this card and this card and intuition in the middle. So I do feel like... You're healing maybe from somebody else being mean to you or lying to you. So the next one is the chariot. So this is communication possibly, somebody communicating with you, or it could be travel, you going in a new direction. I see a lot of passion in this card. 
The Hierophant could relate to a marriage. It also indicates the third eye chakra to me. I'm seeing a lot of intuition in this reading, Scorpio. Already there's two cards with strong intuition. So I don't know if this is you or somebody around you. But I feel like somebody's trying to, somebody's watching somebody. So the Wheel of Fortune. This tells me that you have everything around you to change your life. Whatever direction you want to go in, Scorpio, you have everything to do that. You see the lightning bolt coming down on her head. I don't know if you're going to get an idea and it's going to pop into your head and give you a new idea, a new beginning. There's lots of new beginnings in your lifetime. A lot. So you still have a lot of stuff coming to you that's going to be good in your future. So even though you may feel right now like things aren't good, and but there's good things coming to you throughout the rest of your life. It's not over. <laughs> So the next one is Nine of Swords. So there's something that you regret and you have despair over. Or it could be you miss somebody or something, is what I'm seeing here. You know what? I totally forgot to do one side you and one side your partner. Oh my goodness gracious. I just realized that. Sorry about that, Scorpio. That is really weird. So hopefully you can tell what cards relate to you and what cards relate to your partner. Or somebody in your life. You could have a co-worker or family member these cards would relate to you. So the moon could represent Pisces placement. This is yin and yang, things balancing out. So the full moon um, on the 1st of October could have balanced things out. We're also having two full moons in the month of October. We have another one on the 30th, I believe. So just be aware of that. And I feel like we're more intuition. Look at you have one, two moons. You have this one, a little sliver one up here crescent moon if you will but yeah two moons so far something's gonna be known to you so the high priestess is somebody who learns life lessons because they just pay attention to everything and they could seem very rigid to other people because they've learned the lessons in life and they're just not nice to anyone they don't need to be nice to and they're not mean by any means. They just don't put any effort towards anyone that can waste their energy, if that makes sense. Also, the High Priestess has usually come down many lifetimes. That's why she's allowed to bring knowledge from her previous lives. And so that would make sense with this intuition here. So, I don't know if you lost a High Priestess lately and that's what's bothering you is almost what I'm getting. So Five of Wands is peop people gossiping and talking about you and your business, which is very sad. So, yeah, I feel like that could be something that you found out around the moon phase, or you will find out around the moon phase. So then you have King of Swords. So King of Swords could be somebody who wants to communicate, or it could be somebody who is blocking you, saying, nope, nope, I'm not going to communicate right now. I don't want to. So it could be either or. Three of Coins is growth and promotion, but usually this is co-worker to me. Oh. So the world, this is beautiful. You have the magician or the wheel of fortune in the world. So this is a with the death card up here, this makes me think of you're raising your vibration. Something more is aligning with your soul and your light. Your purpose and your light is what I'm seeing there. So Queen of Swords. So we had the King of Swords, correct, right here. So this is what how whoever comes out first and how their swords are pointing is how it kind of goes the communication. So he's pointing away from her, so he's open to communication, and she is pointing away from him as well. He's more open to communication than she is right now. The Queen of Swords is really uh, matter-of-factly very serious most of the time. The King of Swords is too. So I feel like a King of Swords wants to communicate with the Queen of Swords, but she's not as open as he is. She's a little more guarded, a little more cold is what I'm getting. And it's, it, I'm getting she has good reason to be that way. So the sun, beautiful. So this is uh, travel, communication, happiness, something coming to you from the universe that you've been wanting that is going to help you, make you happy. See, look at I told you there was good things coming to you. So the tower. 
So right after the sun comes to you, there's going to be a tower. So the reason there's a tower is because you're supposed to learn something or it's not for your highest good. So that tells me something or someone comes in and makes you happy, but there's something about that happiness, Scorpio, that is not truthful to you, is what I'm picking up. The star, this is confusing. So this is a lifetime of love. So the king and queen, somebody getting enlightened, the sun, and then the tower coming. These are major arcanas too here. And love and happiness, and then the king of wands. So what I'm getting here is somebody else is competing for the queen of swords is what I feel. There's competition in this King is more grounded than the King of Swords. He's more grounded, so um gosh, what am I getting? The tower means something falls apart because it's not for highest good. It talks about a dream and then the ace of wands. So I almost feel like somebody comes in, tells you they love you, make love you, make you happy, and then something happens where it falls apart, and then somebody else comes in right away. Another king that is better. Feel free to vice versa the energies, King Queen. So I'm going to switch to the uh, Tarot Illuminati deck now, kind of for clarification on these cards. The Tarot Illuminati by Eric Dunn is the representative. He wants it to mean enlightened. Is a Latin meaning for Illuminati? So he does not want it to represent the Illuminati organization or era. He wants it to be Illuminati, meaning the Latin word. Enlightened, the Latin word. So here we go. Gotta check the time. So the first one for you is Two of Pentacles. So Two of Pentacles is a couple things. This could be that the King of Wands is coming in to balance and communicate something here. So we don't have Two of Pentacles anywhere else on here. But that could also mean juggling possibly. So High Priestess. So we have the High Priestess twice. So to me this says... Hmm, the King of Wands comes in and he communicates to the High Priestess. So what am I getting here? Why is the High Priestess involved and then the Queen of Wands? So already I'm seeing two kings here, and two, a Queen and a High Priestess. So it almost does seem like somebody is juggling a high priestess and a queen of wands. Oh, that's a mess. So the high priestess has a lot of intuition. She is knowledgeable and she must she could be a karmic relationship to teach you a lesson. I hate to say that, but that's what the only reason a high priestess would even be involved with somebody who is involved with the Queen of Swords. The Queen of Swords can be kind of icy and cold and not very loving and nurturing. Um, there's the Queen of Wands and the or the King of Wands and then the King of Swords. Mm, gosh, I'm gonna have to pull more. So now you have the Three of Wands. So the Three of Wands is opportunities to me. There's opportunities around here. Can you still see that? Yes, okay. And then this one is Six of Wands. So there's people around you, Scorpio, that want you to give them things for free. There's people like wanting handouts from you is what it looks like to me. People are asking you for things. Three of Cups. So I'm seeing a lot of threes. I really am. This tells me there's somebody involved and possibly a third party. When I see the Three of Cups, they're all happy and they don't know about each other. And I can guarantee you what cards will be coming out to let somebody know. So the Two of Wands is somebody trying to debate what to do. I don't know if you're trying to make a decision to drop one of the persons and not be in a third party anymore, Scorpio. The Tower. So the Tower is coming out again. Um, wow. The Moon. The Moon came out again too. So you've had two towers and two moon cards, which is clarification to me. There's going to be communication 
where somebody is going to communicate something and something that wasn't known is going to be found out and it's going to cause somebody it's going to cause something to fall apart. So it either does that because it's not for your highest good and you've been misleading yourself or in denial. When a tower happens, it's for your highest good. It's either your higher self making it happen or the divine making it happen because you higher self knows what's good for you. So the Empress. We haven't had the Empress at all and she came out. There's a lot of females in here for two kings. So the Empress is somebody who's very nurturing. She wears her heart on the sleeve. She, so to speak, she's very loving. Very powerful. The Empress is very, very powerful. So I don't know if an Empress is going to cause this tower moment. So Two of Cups. This is that somebody wants a chance to come in and do it right. Somebody wants to come in completely correct. So the star, you've had the star twice. So somebody has a wish fulfillment or dream in here. It must be you, Scorpio, of some sort. Because you have the Wheel of Fortune, the World, the Sun. You have the Moon twice, the Star card twice. There's some sort of wish fulfillment either being blocked here or getting ready to come in. Either or. I feel like you get off path it seems like so the universe has to step in and correct you to put you on the right path is almost what I'm seeing it's almost like you get involved with a lot of people that maybe you shouldn't get involved with is what I'm seeing so ace of pentacles this is stability and prosperity with your coins and just feeling stable and secure so I feel like that's your wish is to feel stable and secure. Why you're going around looking at it for everybody is almost kind of what it seems like. Um, it's just, oh wow. Alright, so let me see what time it is. Right, I'm okay. So you have five of pentacles. Somebody's feeling left out in the cold. Somebody feels ghosted. They don't feel secure. So you want security, but you're feeling ghosted. This is the lovers. Could be Gemini placement around you, Scorpio. The world. You had the world twice. Look at this. So something... I feel like for you to get your wish fulfillment, you kind of have to take charge or take authority. You have to be a little more inviting but aggressive at the same time, if that makes sense. You have to be Aggressive but calm and nurturing at the same time. I don't know if this is... Yeah, you have... Yeah, the world twice, the star twice. So, Ace of Swords. Ace of Swords is attraction, somebody wanting to marry, somebody wanting to secure a long-term relationship. Wow, you have stability here with somebody. It seems like you have a lot of people involved for a little while, but it looks like eventually you're leading to stability. It could be with a Gemini, is what I'm seeing. Wow, so I'm going to switch to the Soul's Journey Lesson cards for you, Scorpio. Oh, goodness, that was close. That's weird when they fall out of my hands like that. I don't get it. So something, they almost fell out of my hands. So I don't know if you feel like something has slipped out of your hands. They usually relate everything that happens in the reading to what's going on with the sign of the reading. So the first one for you here is death. I am learning the endings are merely beginning. So something is going to end for you. But trust me when I say when it ends, it's going to bring you better things in towards you, Scorpio. I see you're afraid. I do get it. But that's what that says. You had the death card twice, too. So something, it's up here. Some part of you needs to end so, so you can grow into a positive, more light vibration. So love. I commit to the practice of seeing the good in all things. So it's concerning love. Some sort of situation in your love situation needs to end, to reconstruct, rebuild, restructure, something like that, Scorpio. Wow, is all I can say. So I'm going to pull one more because I just pulled it out. So this says guilt, Scorpio. I release any beliefs that no longer assist in my own soul's, own soul's growth. 
So this tells me that you're hanging on to guilt and there's no reason for you to hang on to it. Release it. Deal with it. Release it. Do not hang on to guilt concerning past loves is what I'm feeling. It's time to let it go. And I usually don't pull three cards of those, but I did today. And so some of you must have a lot of guilt issues. Let it go. Don't hang on to guilt. It does no favor to you, to your cells in your body, your thinking process. It doesn't do anything. Your soul, deal with it. Write down the pros and cons, what you learned, what you will not let happen again, and release that paper. Burn it, throw it away. So the Soul's Journey lesson card for you is 24, Love Where You Are. Use your sensitivity to know when to act. Connect your heart to your head when determining what you would like. So this makes me think of the star card. You know what you want and how you want your life to go, Scorpio. You just let other people throw you off track. It's crazy. You let somebody come in and you go follow them and then you're lost and didn't get off track. Where you... Love where you are. Where you are, accept it, grow in that spot. Right here, the clam talk, the giant clam knows how to siphon clean water in and siphon the yucky water out. So you just need to learn to control the negative and the positive where you are right now in your life. I can't stress that enough. Love where you are. The next one for you is enjoy the journey 21. So stay present and flexible. Many changes are going on for you and around you. These changes are not only good but necessary. Bring your awareness into the now rather than focusing on the past or the future. To me, this talks about the coral reef. You have to have a foundation to be able to build abundance. If you have a house of cards, so to speak, the house of cards will fall apart. It won't last forever. It takes one little blow, puff of wind, and the house of cards falls down. You have to build stability for good things to come to you. Don't build superficial. Don't build shallow. Build stability. You have to start where you are and build a foundation and things will come from that foundation. That's how everything starts. A foundation. So somewhere, whatever things take you, whatever's going on, whether your life is changing a lot, this is what you need to focus on. Start with a foundation. This is where I'm going to start. This is where I want to grow. This is plan A. If plan A doesn't work out, I'm going to plan B. So the first one of Angel and Ancestors is Peacekeeper. Let go of the need to be right. So there's situations, I'm guessing, where you feel correct, Scorpio, and you're hanging on to that and you're not getting anywhere. You're just staying stagnant because you're hanging on to the need to be right. And that leaves you stuck. You stay stuck in that. And you think you're all proud. And your ego is showing. And you're being a peacekeeper. And this is saying otherwise. It is keeping you stuck. Let go of that need to be a people pleaser. To, keep pe to make peace. To be a peacekeeper. Pe you're the peacekeeper of yourself. Nobody else. So autumn, release the old and rest. This is a lot. So there's something you need to release, obviously, and when you release it, you'll feel better. You will need to rest for a little while, but when you start anew again, you'll be in a better place. You'll be happy. So I hope that makes sense to you. Um, that's This is beautiful. I know it's harsh, and there's a lot of people involved, but you know towards the end, you're just going to yourself. These cards are talking about how you need to grow within yourself the stability and confidence that you can start a foundation and grow into a beautiful love from there, is what I'm seeing. So thank you so much for coming to Echo Catch Your Tarot. If you haven't subscribed, it really helps the channel if you like it. And if you give thumbs up to the videos, that's how they get out there for other people to view. And I would just appreciate it so much. So thank you to all the viewers, all the people subscribe, all the comments. Bless you, Scorpio.